Why so? Okay. So this is uh, originally the Samsung N130 chassis and then... So the, in order to make this as cost effective as possible, we reused some of the existing mechanical components, we created a new BIOS that's suited for Linux as well as possible, and it's been optimized for SUSE modeling. So it's been the joint work of Intel, uh, Samsung and, and Novell together to make a very um, robust so system at a very attractive yeah. point because the operating system is open source and we're passing a lot of those benefits all the way to the end user. Okay. These are going to be available first on the engine and Russian market and we're going to make the rounds from that uh, based, on, based on that. It's uh, the, your standard configuration, 1 gig or 2 gig of RAM, 160 or 250 gig hard drives and you okay. go from there. Uh, are there any plans that have a high resolution screen like 1366 by 768? There definitely are prototypes that we've seen from Samsung and other vendors that actually have 1366 by There are some systems available from other OEMs. Yeah. Samsung themselves have a few systems over here that seem very well suited, especially with the new Pine View Pine Trail processor, the N450. With that extra power, you certainly could be driving the extra resolution. Yeah. So we hope to see those design wins coming out very soon. Okay, and then when did you think this one might make it to the US? I, I'm not going to speculate on when it will be, I hope very, very soon. These are going to be available in uh, India and Russia by the end of this month. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. And this was the Samsung N127 using a uh, Moblin, right? Yes, using okay. Suze Moblin. Suze Moblin. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thanks.